Welcome to our lesson on the break-even point. Here we'll learn about how to calculate the break-even point and margin of safety, and the importance of breaking even. Let's dive in. First, we need to clarify the term break-even point. It's the juncture where total revenue and total costs are equal. This means, at this exact point, the business neither earns a profit nor incurs a loss. Knowing the break-even point is essential for companies, as it indicates the minimum sales required to cover their costs. Consistently failing to reach or surpass this point might signal financial troubles or potential business failure. When we speak about breaking even, we need to delve into four crucial terms. Fixed costs are costs that remain the same regardless of sales or production volume. These are consistent, predictable expenses like rent, insurance, utilities, and advertising. Variable costs are costs that fluctuate based on the volume of sales or production. If you produce more goods, these costs rise and vice versa. Examples include direct labor and materials like cement or wood. Total costs is where we combine both fixed and variable costs. On a break-even chart, the line representing variable costs starts from the point where fixed costs end, transforming into the total costs line. And total revenue represents the income from sales. It's calculated by multiplying the number of units sold by the price of each unit. This could be from various products, services, or even dividends from investments. Summing these gives us the total revenue. When we calculate the break-even point, we typically calculate it not in the amount we need to earn to break even, but in how many units we need to sell. The formula for doing this is break-even point equals fixed costs divided by sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So, for example, if we have fixed costs of £10,000, a sales price per unit of £5, and a variable cost per unit of £2.50, then our break-even point would be 10,000 divided by 5 minus 2.5, which equals 4,000 units. Alternatively, we could calculate the break-even point in terms of the revenue required to break even. But to do this, we would first need to calculate the contribution margin. This is calculated as contribution margin equals sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit divided by sales price per unit. We can then work out the break-even point as break-even point equals fixed costs divided by contribution margin. So for our previous example, the break-even point in pounds would be 10,000 divided by 0 0.5, which equals 20,000 pounds. While understanding the break-even point is essential, it's not foolproof. For example, it assumes that all units are sold and presumes the economic environment and forecasts are 100% reliable, which they rarely are. For this reason, many businesses work out a margin of safety. This is simply the difference between the actual sales made and the calculated break-even point. As a formula, this would be margin of safety equals actual sales minus the break-even point. For a business with sales of £250,000 and a break-even point of £100,000, the margin of safety is £250,000 minus £100,000, which equals £150,000. Often, this is expressed as a percentage using the formula. Margin of safety equals actual sales minus the break-even point divided by the actual sales multiplied by 100. So, our margin of safety is 250,000 minus 100,000 divided by 250,000 multiplied by 100, which equals 60%. Breaking even is vital. If a business doesn't consistently achieve this, it risks accruing debts and eventually failing. By understanding their break-even point, companies can set clear sales and revenue goals for profitability. This knowledge aids in making strategic decisions, such as product launches, pricing adjustments, and cost reductions. In conclusion, the break-even point is when the business's total revenue and total costs are the same. Fixed costs are things that the business pays that don't change in relation to sales volume. The variable costs of a business will change depending on business sales or production volume. The company's total costs are calculated by combining its variable costs with its fixed costs. 
when we refer to revenue, we're talking about all money that comes into the business from sales. The break-even point in units can be calculated as fixed costs, divided by sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit. The break-even point in points can be calculated as fixed costs, divided by the contribution margin. The margin of safety in pounds can be calculated as actual sales, minus the break-even point. If a business doesn't break even month on month, it's losing money instead of making it. And knowing the break-even point means that a business knows what it needs to do in terms of sales and revenue to be profitable.